Hey guys, checking in. This is Mike from the Beaten Trail. Uh, so a couple weeks ago, we lost front wheel drive power on our 2020 uh, Razor 900 Trail, Fox Edition, and it strictly was just um, failure, electric, uh, electrical, and it said front drive uh, failure, see dealer. So no grinding, no noises. We just didn't have front wheel drive, and we put it back up on the uh, put it up on the trail, and we could notice that yes, there was no front wheel drive. So we brought it to Motorcycle Mall in Belleville, New Jersey, not where we bought it, but we had paid eight hundred and forty-five dollars for a three-year service contract from Polaris, a genuine Polaris protection plan, and uh, you know, so we later on got the. Um, details when we spoke with them they said yeah you blew your diff and they wanted to charge me fifteen hundred dollars so i said no i have the polaris extended warranty whatever caused it you know submit it so they submitted to polaris and polaris had said they'll pay for a rebuild so with the rebuild <clears throat> six seven hundred dollars whatever it might have been we'd pay the deductible and they'd install it now the problem is any mechanic who knows what he's doing is gonna check the fluids right you know, you have a transmission problem, you're gonna see if there's metal shavings in there. Uh, see if there's water in there. It doesn't matter if it's transmission or differential or what. So they didn't do that. So uh, Polaris shipped the kit. Uh, they already had taken the front end of the trail apart and when they opened it up, it was full of water. So they called me and they said, it's full of water and so on and so forth, we're going to, and he said, you're covered. <clears throat> uh, looks like one of the seals leaked and then they submitted it to Polaris. Polaris went ahead and uh, denied the claim. So for a whole front diff. And I got that call while I was on vacation uh, and uh, they told me, nope, it's gonna be, they're not gonna cover it. And I said, well, you know, they said manufacturing defects. And I said, well, who puts these seals in? These seals are Polaris's. So unless there is some crazy means of water getting in there some, somewhere else, um, there was no, you know, I saw the pictures. There's no other way you can get water in there unless the seals break. Now, I'm not a mechanic, but um, why wouldn't you check those fluids? So, <clears throat> uh, Motorcycle Mall, Charlie told me there in service, he said, oh, well, all you can do is call customer service and see if you can get them to, you know, change their mind. So, I spoke with uh, Stuart over at 1-800-POLARIS Customer Service. I had to call him a second time. They didn't call me back. No big deal, but spoke with him on the phone and he said, uh, yeah, it's, it only covers manufacturing uh, defects. And I asked him, I said, well, you guys make the, you make guys make the seals? And he wouldn't answer me and he was a bit testy with me. And I said, look, you know, I, I believe that there was fault here um, on manufacturing. You know, it seems like this, uh, the seal shouldn't leak and uh, have water come in and Anyway, I, I, I got no error message until all of a sudden I had no drive. So corrosion takes a while. It's not like it was uh, <clears throat> full of water in one week. It had to be over time. And Motorcycle Mall had installed new fluids. I had done new fluids at the three or four um, month piece. I have that video documented as well as the date when I did it. And the fluids were fine. It's on camera. You, know, you can go back and see one of our episodes. We'll put it up here somewhere. Um, so I'm waiting to hear back from Polaris when they speak with Charlie at service again, but, um, $3,500 for a new front diff, that's not going to fly. Uh, even if I paid $845 for the service contract, it's worthless. It is truly worthless. So, uh, I'm hoping that, uh, somewhere out there that Polaris, uh, actually uh, sees this you know i mean i have uh, a very small channel we have a good group of people here that do trails half our owners half our potential owners so it's definitely bad customer service if polaris is going to not uh, cover this under warranty but regardless i will find out more later today but just in case do not do not buy a polaris extended warranty that's what i'm saying right now this may change. You may see a different video version of this later, but for now, be warned. You must know your dealer very well and make sure that you know your machine well uh, and then trust Polaris. So if you don't have a good relationship with your dealer, that also could 
um, have them not fight for you. <clears throat> Uh, this is uh, not where I bought it. I bought it from Power uh, Mo uh, Cycle Power up in New York, and that's because where they had it in stock. They're not going to ship stuff around back in 2020 for me to uh, pick it up elsewhere and someone else get the profit. So that may work for some people, but I don't think it uh, would work on this end. So um, thanks again for watching. Uh, hope to have an update for you. And uh, if you got any ideas and comments, put them in the uh, comment section below. And let me know, what should I do? What should I have done? Uh, we uh, had about 1,200 miles on the unit, maybe 1,500, but there were two fluid changes on the diff, and one was done by me, and one was warranty service uh, by the dealer. So, uh, more to come.